Hey. I'm... Hello. Hey. Hi, I'm, uh, welcome to Darksiders. Welcome to Darksiders. Mm-hmm. We're doing things a little different this time around. Are we? What are we doing? Uh, we're doing it live. I was already alive. Uh, Remember that one time we did that other thing live? That was pretty cool. Uh, you mean where it, like, barely worked at all and it was terrible? No, it was fine. Shut up. I'm a wooden palisade. Okay. I'm Ambisagris. Uh, let's go to the auctions really quick. Change a couple things. Uh, now nah, we're good. We got subtitles on. That's all that's really that really matters. Really matters. What you should do Ready is like adjust the volume down and then back up and then down and then back up and be like, "Yep, everything's good. It all seems to be in order here." Oh, okay. Well, ready to go? Yeah, go. Let's do it. Okay. Easy, normal, or apocalyptic? I don't know. Can you beat it on apocalyptic? Hell no. We're doing it oh. on normal. Oh, coward. Yeah. We've got. There's kind of some loading times, but I've got it installed, so it shouldn't be too big a deal. Let's... Right? Let's talk over the loading screens in an interesting way. Okay. That's that's what I was planning on doing anyway. Did you know this game is based on various mythologies? Since the dawn of time, really? The <laughs> yeah. Of heaven We're starting it out easy. Have waged hmm. an endless war. I didn't know that. Thanks we're for telling me. Talking over these, or no? Yeah, we can talk over them. There's subtitles. Yeah, but I mean, it's, order and the narrative is very it strong. It's a very strong <laughs> narrative. No, it's not. It's a very powerful universe. narrative. Nobody plays this game for the story. What are you talking about? This, this game has a very powerful story. Well, yeah, I was just like moved to tears when I got to the ending. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, I mean, hell, I was crying by the end of the opening cutscene. I'm a horse, man. The turmoil. The first but humans this is this is yet another game where it, it pulls the whole biblical mythology thing. Where it like, takes biblical stories and makes some ridiculous bullshit out of them. Oh, what other games do that? Let's see. Well, I mean, there's there's always elements of stuff like this all over the place. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember know? in uh, in Majora's Mask, the the biblical you know end of times thing. What are you talking about? And then in Wind Waker, the biblical flood. Uh, I. Whoa! Are you telling me that this game and Wind Waker are in the same universe? Yeah. That's what I'm the multiverse. You. <laughs> It's not a multiverse, it's just a singular verse. Oh. When, how, so, how many years after Wind Waker do you think this takes place? <clears throat> um, 30,000 years. Hmm, I was thinking more like. Like. Uh, like a decade? Ten? Yeah. 10 years? <laughs> like, this, it take, this takes place between Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. A lot can happen in those years. Like we can establish like human looking people and a big metropolis. They look pretty human in Wind Waker. No, they just don't. Kinda, they look cartoony. Just kind of round and stylized. This is just a gritty reboot. <laughs> Are you watching 2012? Oh. I don't know. There's not enough explosions for that, I don't think. Not yet. Man, what do you call that right there? Cars are flying. This is totally no, 2012. No, no, no. Nah, it's not quite. Need a few more. But, I mean... The... Oh, I just noticed. Look at that film grain. I know. Can you see that? No. It's but film I'm grain. I can. Well, there's, there's film grain. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Our pallet is dead. We're gonna wipe now. Shut up. <laughs> It's okay, you <laughs> the thing. I'm gonna be making a lot of these jokes. Lay on hands, hoo hoo ha ha. Oh, I want, I want you to listen here. You hear it? What? There's a Wilhelm scream. Well, I didn't sound like a Wilhelm scream, it sounded like a regular. Nah, there was one. It was kinda in the back, but there definitely was. Oh. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, you'll, you'll hear it later. Is Wilhelm like a main character in this game, or what? Oh yeah, he's, he's right here, see? 
him? This is Wilhelm? Yeah, Wilhelm. He's the guy, like, standing up right now. I was gonna say, I was gonna say is he the Doom monster, or is he... No, no, he's this guy. Okay. He's, the, he's this Arthas-looking motherfucker right. over here. Okay, so in Darksiders, you play as the main hero, Wilhelm. Yes, yeah, and... so what's up? We're, we're Wilhelm. And you, uh try to eliminate the planet of Doom Guy enemies. I don't know what this uh, thing is. It looks like fucking Doom. Doom Wait, Doom Guy was the main character. In no, Doom. Doom Guy's enemies, stupid. Oh, I thought you meant like Doom Guy enemies. Like there are enemies that look like Doom Guy. What if what if Doom Guy like went crazy and then like became the enemies at the end? So then like Whoa. he destroyed his aliens, but in the process like he became like the new evil man because he so what you're saying is that Doom Guy became the demons? No, no, no. I mean, like, is that wow, the joke you are going for? I think here. that they were called the demons. Oh, you're right. But no, I meant like, see, because only a monster would like commit genocide on a, on a race like that. You see what I'm saying? Mm, so well, he. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I guess we should go over some basic explanations here. Yeah. We are. Uh, this game plays a lot like God of War. Well, I think first you should kind of cut yourself off and say. We just transformed into a like a Hulk. We're gonna call we just this, turned into Red Hulk. We're gonna call this Hulking out, even though it's not. Yeah, we're gonna be saying yeah. that this is Hulking out pretty often. Um, it's a it's a thing you can trigger for this fight. You don't actually have to. If you don't trigger it, you can do something else here. Yeah, but you can get it's an cooler if you it's cooler if you trigger it. So like, uh, let's see here. There should be a helicopter that flies by in a second. Yeah, and you have to hit it with a car. Yeah. But you can't pick up cars when you're a beast. Anyway. Because we're in chaos form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Hulk Town. We're Red Hulk. Yeah, it's a, it's a. You build meter and you can occasionally do it, but I think in that yeah, part you could do it as a cutscene, like this is a, as a plot thing. Mm -hmm. but. That helicopter there, you have to throw a thing at it. But yeah. since we can't, well, I'm gonna go for as many achievements as I can, just because they're fun. Yeah, we won't like sacrifice showing something off because to get an achievement like that, like that was whatever. Right. Anyway, so yeah, this game plays kind of like kind of plays like kind of like God of War. Um, yeah. But also kind of like Zelda, so you know, it's just it's, all over the place. It's a God of man. War game with Zelda puzzles. Yeah. And it's really cool! I like it! Oh, and also, like it's, it's basically World of Warcraft. Like The art style is very, very World of Warcraft. Yeah. Uh-oh. What is happening? Oh, we, we, we got off. problems. Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we, uh... Let's see if we can pick up a car. We can, uh... Yeah. Also, my, th there's a there's a poster for my favorite movie in here. Oh yeah, Eaten Two. Eaten Two. Eaten again. Eaten again. I remember that movie. Yeah. I love that movie. Didn't do too well in so, box offices, but it's got a nice uh, cult following. It's a timeless classic, is what it is. Mm -hmm. I think there was a sign that said Chippo too. Yeah. Yeah. Or. Cuppo, it says. Oh, it says, it says Cuppo, okay. It says, it says Cuppo. We got weapons of law. <laughs> but, for the most part, this game is... If I had to describe this game in a word, it would be derivative. Yeah, it is a bit... But, it's, it's not a bad game. It's a, it's a good combination of a lot of things. Yeah. They, they does, did a good job learning and, and stealing from like four mm -hmm. different genres, four different long running series. And yeah. kinda, you know, made it their own sort of. Kinda. Of. Yeah, a little bit. Ah. But it's it's a very quick game and I like that. Yeah, you And just... you can also do like wicked ass finisher moves on things. Like yeah Yeah, just cut their cut their wings off. Yeah. Oh, well, you didn't cut his wing off, you just... I, I did. Oh, okay. I cut his wings off and then impaled him on my sword. Okay, yeah. See, see, oh, I, I... that guy died before I could do it again. Wait, you got a what? Huh? Oh. I thought you, said you, gotta... yeah, I thought you said you have to die, and I was like, what? what oh, no, about? he died before I could cut him in half. I gotcha. We got our uh, Zelda vines, you know. Yeah, you, you, remember, you remember in, in Legend of Zelda where, like, the creep, like, crawled up the walls and... Then you fought yeah. like living tumors. I'll tell you, there sure is a creep climbing up a wall right now. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. It's me. That's I don't the joke. Follow. I'm a creep. Don't make me. Don't make me say I'm a weirdo. I was about to say it. Oh. Even though I actually don't. No, no, not gonna. Oh, hey. I know you don't like that song. You stole my kill. <laughs> 
Well, whatever. That's a kind of a nice set piece, though, having them yeah. fight against each other. Yeah, because we're this is the apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, oh, we can't go back because that line snap. Even though there's like three of them still going, I know. We can't climb on any of those. I know. What reason did we did that hat line have to snap? Uh, because it's a Zelda game and that happens. Yeah, doors close behind you. Yeah, ex exactly. A lot of combat in this game. Yeah. It's cool how you can actually swap them off. Like in, in Zelda games, you gotta like pull out your slingshot or something and shoot them off mm -hmm. beforehand, but... Yeah, you just you just hit them. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Like, these these three guys here are really easy, at least, but... Yeah. yeah a couple more spawn, I guess. That That is going to be a thing that happens a lot. We will get into a room, and this will happen. And we'll have to fight a bunch of dudes! Shocking, wow. I can beat him with a table like that. That's pretty cool, right? I mean, I guess. Uh, I'm not thrilled, but I'm okay with it. It's, it's, uh, uh. Calm down. Okay. Are we done yet? Can we get out oh. of this room? Uh, no. N yes! Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. So let's see here. Oh, I love this little bit right here. Alright, let's see it. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> you should throw a car at that helicopter. I, there's no cars in a bi- what, Why would there be cars in a building? <laughs> it's the apocalypse. Things are crazy. I guess. But whatever. I can throw a car right here. That makes you feel better. See, watch. Here we go. Throw it at the helicopter Bam! and crash. <laughs> also, I like- you can, uh, right-click. I like, use the right stick, click it in, and you can go into this, uh, aiming mode, see? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Cars do a nice amount of damage, too. Well, that's good. Yeah. Like, you can actually do a pretty substantial amount of damage by throwing a fucking car at somebody. Yeah, who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> you just like point blank like slammed that car and then. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. I mean like like I can just grab one and just like this guy will get I, down here. I wanna Thank I, you. I wanna suplex there I wanna suplex a car into somebody. Oh the body explosion. <laughs> Let me check my map here. What really? Oh that's where I need to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what could be going on over here. Considering it's an entirely linear path, I didn't think it was a question, but okay. <laughs> Should I check it again? Oh, never mind. No. We gotta... We gotta cut scene. We will more. not yield. I guess. So when does Tom oh, Hanks step I'm in? Uh, right now, actually. We're watching Angels vs. Demons, right? I mean, this is... Yeah, he's, yeah. He, he's this guy. But I don't think... See, look at him. That's totally Tom Hanks. Yeah, okay, you're right. I can see it now that you say that. I need a lot of makeup. Featuring, can... uh, featuring Tom Hanks as himself. <laughs> Archangel Tom Hanks. Yes. Art Hank. Oh my god. <laughs> also, one thing I like is that... All the angels have this really goofy technology, like laser guns and shit. Yeah. Like they've got staves that have lasers well, that shoot them. Well, they're like, they're them. not really laser oh. guns, much as they are like light guns. Yeah. Like literal beams of light that they fire. Impossible. Yeah. Holy purity beam. What is this? Oh no. My not the purity beam. <laughs> A final seal. Yeah. Oh my god, is he gonna die? No. Tom Hanks, you weren't even in this movie very long. Ah, uh, he's not gonna die. How did this happen? But, we're, we're setting up all the uh, characters here pretty early. Not that there are many in this game. This game is kinda light on the story. Dude, I just realized that like, some of the, like at least that angel, or it's like a space marine. Yeah. Like, look These at guys him. are totally space marines. Yeah. He's got like a, like a 
an eye patch cybernetic type thing just goes what right over his heaven's name have you done yeah oh he's just I, uh, gonna uh, uh, yeah yeah he, he's he is dead sorry <laughs> so much for that hey hey nate hey nate yeah answer the call <laughs> a little reference to everyone oh no a little reference for you don't don't you even all right we got our uh, first boss fight this is uh straw guy i think is his name right straw guy no, Dude, Straga. I always hated when people come up with like straw guy arguments. I just, I was gonna make a joke about it with a straw man argument, but I couldn't think of a good one. Sorry. <laughs> oh well. The way you beat this guy is you hit him with cars. And good. Then he gets down here, and you hit him in the face with your sword. It's pretty nice. easy, right? Well, that's so Zelda. You do. I bet you have to do that like three repetitions of that, huh? <laughs> three times. You don't say. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, that's cool. It's not really wow. accomplishing anything, but it's cool. Yeah. He, he's the first boss, he's easy. He's easy, I haven't got hit cool. by him. Because I forgot to jump. Shut up, smart ass. <laughs> so uh, he explaining the damn game. I thought this was a was a no no hit run while being while fighting bosses. Oh, I didn't realize you could actually like, hit him in the body with a car and it would work. Oh wow. I guess that's what you really would call a body explosion, am I right? Oh god. Can we just do an LP of a uh, muscle bomber the body explosion? Yeah, I've been wait I've been waiting for you to say that for like three years. Wow. We'll, we'll do that after this. I even have this muscle ring that I've been waiting to to Put on my finger. God. No. Imagine there's just like a like a like an Ouroboros of muscles. God. It's I, like, I, I, I'm, I I can't fight this boss. I'm too busy thinking about all these muscles. <laughs> like like two two beefy arms flexing interlocked with each other, like flexing into each other constantly. And what you're saying is it's arm wrestling. Yeah, but like it's infinitely. Oh, check it out. I mean, let's finish him off. Okay, it's doing this. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, I stabbed his eye out. That's kind of cool. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh oh, this is a problem. Oh, I thought you were charging up for a special attack, not losing your sword and going weak. No. Dude, I hate criminals too, man. I hate lawbreakers. I'm, I'm breaking the law. <laughs> the gushy blood effect on his eye. That's great. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's a problem. Oh! Ooh, that's gritty. Mm. Mm. That sends the reign of Arthas, I guess. I, I guess we're dead. Arthas Wilhelm. Mm. Rest in peace. Or is it Dogtown? Yes. Where's everybody else? Hmm. So, so everybody's dead, I guess. And it's our fault. Yep, obviously. Isn't it always? You guys are kind of assholes. Yeah, really. Gosh, what's... 
who who uh, hasn't heard of innocent until proven guilty? These guys, apparently. Yeah, apparently. The horsemen always have. Send me back. Does he like have pupils or anything, or is it just he just has so white what? eyes? Yeah, P pupils. Like he just has no pupil. Nope. Ever. You don't got any. Never. Nope. Oh, nope. all right. Just got goofy, glowing white eyes. Whatever. I guess that's These guys cool. have like fire eyes, so that's kind of cool. Isn't it, it is cool, and I think like the flames kind of act as pupils. It works. Surely. But guess we're going back. Why? I thought we were like thrown in in, in hell prison. Nah. Did you not pay attention to the plot at all? Come on, this no, guy's I pretty did. plot heavy. I just heavy. thought we were going to be thrown in hell prison. This guy's got a pretty important plot. You should really pay attention. Cut it out. <laughs> we got our buddy. It's Mark Hamill. Mm, I like jokers. I will really get under your skin. What a what a joker. So he's gonna teach us how to how to use the light side of the force again, right? Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Let's see. So, we gotta get our sword back. Oh, there it is. Well, it's just over there. Yeah, let's just right there. Also, it's called Chaos Eater. Isn't that just the most 12 year old cool name for a sword? You know, it's heard? funny you say 12 year old cool because that's like. That's the naming convention for weapons in World of Warcraft, too. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. This game's really World of Warcraft. You know, it but actually kind of kind of says to me that this game is really um 12-year-old cool. Yeah, it really is. We got a couple things. We got a uh, a potion. It's what yeah, somebody see? would call like needlessly epic. Yep. And we got a special move called Blade Geyser. Uh, <laughs> Blade I'm, Guy. I'm actually getting Blade Geyser. No, but we just got Blade Guy. Ah, I love Blade Guy. Oh man, I love Swordman too. Oh man. Katana dude's a prick though. Screw that guy. Yeah, I know. I always kind of preferred Knife Buddy as my third. Yeah, Knife Buddy's pretty useful. Yeah. Get a uh, get a little money. They start us off with a little money. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. He but, is, is Mace anyway. friend in this game or? Nah, he he was busy at the time. Sorry. Oh. Souls. Yeah. Souls in this game are there's yellow, blue, and green. Mm -hmm. A blue is money, yellow is magic power, the council and green is health. Makes sense. Hmm. How long have I been here? This all seems kind of shady to me. A little. <laughs> just out of nowhere. Oh! It was just the timing oh. on it too. She's like, "How long have I been here?" And then immediately it was like, Dee! "Just no asking questions." <laughs> yeah. Back on Earth though. Cool. I think so cool. I think that's really cool. Yeah, it's real cool. He looks <laughs> like our trick yeah, it's good. Yeah. It feels real good. Yeah. Feels good. Not so oh. fast, horseman. Uh, you can't just teleport to anywhere. You had to like ride a meteor and crash land or something. Yeah, because it's twelve-year-old cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say, bug. You bark, and if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? What a cock. Yeah, really. Or should I teach you to play dead? Man, Mark Hamill kind of carries this. 
Ooh. he really does. His voice talents other, are way, way higher than like anyone else. There's else's. some really good voice actors in this. Like Phil Lamar does a character that we'll meet pretty soon. Yeah, and he's always a good voice actor. Yeah, but but uh, we'll see them next time. I uh, think that's enough. All right, him. sure. Oh, all right. cool. Yeah, we'll stop in the hotel. We can get a nice rest. Yeah. Get some rest at EXP. Yeah, take a nap. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> okay. I'll see everybody later. Yep. See ya. Bye.